Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll create a detailed 3D cream jar in Blender from scratch. We'll go through modeling, refining the shape, and adding realistic materials to bring it to life. Follow along, and by the end, you'll have a professional looking model ready for rendering. Let's get started. Start with a cylinder from the Add menu and set the vertices to 12. Scale it down in the side view. In Edge Select mode, select one edge, duplicate it, and separate it from the rest. Delete the original geometry, leaving only the duplicated edge. Switch to Vertex mode and add two extra vertices to the edge. In Edge Select mode, select the center edge and extrude it backward. Select the front edge and delete it. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a screw modifier. Set the screw value to 1.3 and the iteration to 2. Go back to Vertex mode and scale the vertices down slightly, then apply the screw modifier. In Face Select mode, select the two front faces and delete them. Open the viewport overlays and enable face orientation to check if the normals are correct. If they are flipped, select all faces, press Alt-N, and choose Recalculate Outside to fix them. Select the outer edges and merge them. Select the top edges and extrude them upwards, then scale them flat on the Z-axis. Add an edge loop and align it with the existing one. Inset a face, then select the front face and delete it. Switch to vertex mode and merge vertices where needed, making sure to merge at last. Shade the model smooth to fix shading artifacts. Select the inner face, inset it again, delete the front face, pull it out slightly, and merge the vertices. Select the lower vertex, then the top one, and merge them at last. Move the vertex outward and merge it again. Add a subdivision surface modifier, then repeat the process for the bottom part. To create a wider opening for the cream jar, select the vertices and scale them outward evenly on the X and Y axes by pressing S and Shift Z. Duplicate the model, go to the top view, and scale it up. In Edge Select mode, select the ring edges, then scale them inward from the top view. Press H to hide the duplicated part. Select the main part, go to Edge mode, and select the top edges. Extrude and scale them inward, then extrude downward. Select the outer edges, extrude and scale them outward, then extrude downward. Scale the faces outward if needed. If the shape isn't right, select the lower edges, extrude, scale them inward, then use grid fill to complete the faces. Apply the scale and add bevels where needed. Select the inside edges, switch to side view and wireframe mode, and extrude them down to match the main body. Fill the face and apply bevels where necessary. Unhide the duplicated part, go to Edge Mode, select the top edges, and fill them. Select the lower edges, extrude and scale them outward, then extrude them upward. Extrude again, scale inward, then use Grid Fill to complete the faces. Apply a bevel modifier to smooth out the edges. Parent the cover to the main body so it can be moved separately. To open or close the jar, move or hide the cover. Add a UV sphere and set the segments to 12. In side view, select half of the faces and delete them. Select the remaining faces and scale them flat on the Z-axis. Move them up and scale outward. In edge select mode, select the inner edges, rotate them on the Z-axis, and move them up. Select the inner faces, extrude and scale them down. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a Subdivision Surface modifier and a Displace modifier. Reduce the Displace Strength to 0.09, then create a new image. In the Texture Properties, change the Texture Type to Cloud. Adjust the Size value until the desired effect is achieved. Switch to Vertex Mode, press Ctrl Plus to grow the selection, then use Proportional Editing to scale it down. Adjust the Shape and Size until it looks right.
Unhide the cover, then press Alt-G and Alt-R to reset its position and rotation, placing it back on top. In face mode, select specific faces, duplicate them along the Y-axis, and separate them into a new object. Add loop cuts along the sides and apply a subdivision surface modifier. Then add a shrink wrap modifier, set the cream body as the target, and move the label slightly inward along the Y-axis. Set the shrink wrap modifier's offset to 0.01. Go to the shading tab and select the cover. Create a new material and set the base color to orange. Increase the metallic value to one and reduce the roughness. Select the cream jar, create a new material, and set the base color to black. For the label, create another material, add an image texture node, and connect it to a mix shader node. Then, connect the principal BSDF to the first shader input of the mix shader. Add a mix color node and connect it to the second shader input. Load the label texture into the image texture node. Switch to the UV editing workspace, unwrap the label, then rotate and scale it to align with the image texture. In the mix color node, Set the first color to black and reduce the roughness in the principal BSDF. Hide the cover, select the cream, create a new material and lower the roughness for a realistic appearance. Thank you.